I realize you're looking for some awesome Android applications to boost your user experience with your Android smartphone. So here you are with some amazing Android applications. Let's go. What if your favorite application is delisted from the Google Play Store? Or let's say there's a particular version of an application you loved compared to previous or even current versions. Since downloading applications mostly from the Google Play Store does not come with APK, then this application called ML Manager allows you to download applications as Android Package Kits or what we call APKs. And with this, you can save any version of your favorite application and install even if there is a new update. And since APKs get stored as shareable files on your Android device, you can also share this APK with other friends through any sharing platform. The next application is an awesome productivity and task management app. It is called Do It Now RPG To Do List. And what makes this application very unique is giving you rewards, experience points for any to do action you're able to do. Just like video games, you get a virtual character. And with all the tasks you've scheduled and its necessary details, whenever you take off the tasks you've created, your character gets awards and with that, you get to grow through different stages. The app itself has an amazing interface, a very strict productivity vibe, so check it out and enjoy some fun aspects while going about your tasks. The app is free on the Google Play Store and the link to it is in the video description. When it comes to WhatsApp chats, we all know that read receipts comes in play to let the sender know that the recipient has seen or even read the message. And with this, most WhatsApp users prefer turning it off to not show the people that their messages are read or even seen. But with this application called No Blue Tick, you won't even worry about read receipts, the check marks or blue ticks, and a lot more. When you receive a message, it also appears in the No Blue Tick application where you can open and read and no action will be done on the original WhatsApp message. It will stay on read, but not only on WhatsApp. You can choose a couple of messaging applications for this same reason. Some might also read messages off the notification panel to avoid opening the actual messages to read. Again, with this application, you will no longer be doing that. The next app is called Safe Headphones and instead of noise cancelling, this application allows you to hear background noises through your headphones, whether you have media playing or not. So long as you got your headphones plugged in, once you've enabled the transparency feature, then it's gonna work just fine. You can control the volume of the sound or even turn on the filter noise to give you much clearer feedback. Most KWGT widgets, even though are great, provide only basic information, time, date, weather, but the unique one I came across recently, which goes by the name Evolve KWGT, is just amazing. Seriously, all its widgets are very purposeful and very, very informative. It has widgets with newsfeed, fitness tracking, provides daily codes, one that contains progress bars, one that displays social media notifications, then ones for dates, time, and the weather, you know, the basic stuff too. One thing I really like about these widgets is the design. The UI is amazing, which will definitely add up to a beautiful home screen setup. And the widgets are very responsive also. It is free to download from the Google Play Store. Keep in mind you need to install the KWGT Widgets Pro to be able to load these widgets onto your home screen. Now that we are halfway through this video, leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on these applications I've mentioned so far. And also consider subscribing for the growth of my channel if you enjoy this and any of my videos. Still on the home screen widgets, if you want to try out some fresh, modern widgets on your Android home screen, check out this Android 12 inspired Material U widget. This widget pack is called Uzuri and it comes with some of the best Android 12 widgets you can get. They are very clean and also very very adaptive to your current wallpaper. Just make sure you already have the KWGT Pro installed to be able to use this widget pack. When it comes to AI wallpapers, one of the best AI-generated set of wallpapers is from this application called Abstracto Wallpapers. There are several unique wallpapers you would love to try, from over 25 categories. I love how high quality the wallpapers are made in, and seriously, these are not like the common wallpapers you'll find on several wallpaper applications. 
you will find variety of wallpapers, minimal, fluid, some texture wallpapers. Aside the wallpapers you will find from this application, you can also upload your wallpapers to the application. With this, you need to sign up and speaking of sign up, you can get your data history intact even when you switch to a different Android device. This is free on the Google Play Store so check it out. Pixel Search is another fantastic application that has gained much attention recently and that is because it is actually a time-saving feature on the Google Pixel devices and with this application, you can also enjoy the feature on your non-Pixel Android smartphone. It is an application you can use to find anything on your phone and with anything, I mean everything, and with search, it will search through your apps, contacts, files and folders and even give you suggestions from the internet. If you want to quickly search and open anything anywhere on your phone, then Pixel Search is the application that can do that. Personally, I have this application in the utilities folder on my home screen and so I can quickly get to it and search for whatever I like and get results very quickly. When it comes to better Android experience and making the most out of your customizable Android device, then this application which goes by the name Anything to PIP will help you enjoy that. The application is called Anything to Picture in Picture and it simply allows you to view any media in a little screen while you go about opening or using other applications. You can open the particular file you want to view in picture in picture form from the application or share it to the app. Not forgetting that you can even view YouTube videos in picture in picture, just copy and paste the link into the app and tap on the PIP icon or share the YouTube video to the application, tap on the PIP icon and there you have it. Still on better Android user experience, one application that I've gotten used to its functionality goes by the name Edge Card Launcher. I featured this application in one of my previous videos and I still had to mention it because I strongly believe if you get to try it, you never let go. It is just a card that you can swipe from the edge of your screen, which contains the very basic toggles plus favorite applications and favorite contacts. So as I mentioned, if you get used to it, you wouldn't have to go all the way up to the notification panel to turn on auto rotate, touch, open settings, you easily find your most used applications, no need to open your phone app to call your favorite person. So try this application and enjoy a nicer Android user experience. Click on the card at the top right corner to watch the video I first featured this application in. It contains similar Android user enhancement applications. Let me know your thoughts on these applications and also some of the apps you've been using daily which helps you all the time. If you enjoyed the video, kindly consider subscribing to the channel for more best Android apps videos and also don't forget to like this video. As always, thank you for watching.